Hello, this is iFixSmartphone.com. Uh, today um, I have this Galaxy S7 uh, that has a problem. I don't know if you ever seen it, but it is kind of discontinued model. It's older phone. Now we are in the era of uh, S9 and S9 Plus. But anyway, people, a lot of people still use this phone because it's not a you know it's it's okay phone. Um, but the problem is, it's doing this. See that? Half the screen is like staticky and half the screen works fine. And you can see uh, touch works. See this side works too, but just the display is like messed up. And a lot of people think this is the, uh, the LED problem. Um, it could be, but when you have a uh, clean, perfectly lined half like do not work and half works it's really not a LED problem uh, you know if the uh, LED would be bad then I say uh, the probably the whole screen is like this um, I used to see that with the HTC model and that was because of the connector and then the little IC chip that was going bad and that was the issue for but for this one here well, it's definitely not a LED and also plus this repair shop they brought this phone here tried it like two screens for this phone and uh, same thing so it is um, definitely a logical problem and uh, we're gonna figure out um, I mean I'll let you know what the problem is so let me tear this apart okay so I uh, got this phone taken apart uh, got the uh, back cover and the uh, the frame cover board covers off and steel screen is uh, half uh, washed out and this is the LED connector right here, battery, power switch, and blah, blah, blah. So usually the board is how the design is. When there's a LED, LED or LCD connector is um, the BGA chip that controls the graphic is probably near. So I'm gonna assume in here, um, uh, we do have a schematics, but I already know it's in here, but usually it'll be on the around that area, just so you know if you don't have the access to the schematics. Anyway, so let me get this off. According to the uh, S7 schematics, uh, when the connector HD, HDC 9001, and you know when you connect connect the uh, click, connect the uh, <laughs> click the uh, one of the connector, which you can see this connected to here U9010. And let's see if you click some more, you can see the uh, dots are moving. So this is the uh, definitely a chip that controls the uh, graphic. So we're gonna check around this area. Yeah, logic board is out of the frame. And luckily, unlike the Apple nowadays, uh, the EMI shield actually is not soldered onto the board so it is easily detachable so you just gotta pop it out and let me get this close so the, uh, the connector goes to here and this is probably since this is the battery this probably has to do with the charging and somewhere here it should lead to here the connectors all these uh, capacitors, little IC, and probably flows into here. Our uh, schematic tells me this is a BGA. And so we got this board uh, on my uh, workstation, and uh, before I start the uh, removing the BGA chip, and I don't want to disturb any other components, so we covered the areas um, around the uh, BGA. With a captain tape so um you know apply some heat and get this uh, bj chip a little flux and get the bj off okay so find my right angle for me
Okay, the uh, VJ is off. I'm going to set that aside for right now. I gotta remember the orientation. So, A1 is on the top right. So, and then. So I want to probably sometimes I wick it, sometimes I don't. Um, this one I'm gonna wick it because um, the, uh, the soda balls are pretty big. And let's see, there's not that many uh, components that's gonna get damaged. There's actually a lot of room around the uh, the chip area. So the capacitors are pretty big around it, so I'm not gonna get you know, it's less chance of me disturbing the uh, components around it. Alrighty, coming up pretty nicely. Okay. So IC chip, the PJ has been rebolt. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, so time to get this back on there. So we're gonna put some little flux again. Come on. And the PJ goes on to the pad. And this actually Samsung board has a uh, uh, I guess a, a guideline where the uh, VJ goes so you can kind of uh, align it a lot easier so you know where it is and so that it kind of align it a little bit and then I'm just gonna have to give a little heat right. and then hold it there Ready. It feels like the uh, solders are getting the chip and let it let the heat uh, let the solder melt and burn the uh, chip. Wait for the uh, surface tension to grab the chips to its own place. I see it's moving a little bit. I'll give it a little nudge. Okay, so obviously you don't want to apply too much heat, so you have to kind of like have a little bit of experience and knowing, you know, when to stop applying heat, and you need to like kind of feel that chips, I see chip is on the board solidly. Okay, looks pretty flat looks pretty good so we're gonna let this cool down a little bit and I will test okay I got the frames back in got the shield back actually I sh uh, should have put the uh, shield back later after testing but what the hell anyway so I got everything in there um, my left hand glove ripped so I'm now not using the finger cut anyway so here's the moment of the truth so the connectors are in there battery connected everything is uh, intact and let's see and as you can see voila full functioning screen so let's see uh, 
we're going to go through the first activation stage. All right, so far so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. So touch works, remove the SIM card, uh, use Wi-Fi. So let's see, you can see it. So it sees all the uh, Wi-Fi network around here. So Wi-Fi chip works. That means Bluetooth can work together because those are uh, Broadcom chips. Has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi together. So okay. So there you go. So phone's working. Looks like nothing's been disturbed. Um, so like I said, this uh, half snowy or uh, static screen is because of, it's not because of the, because of the screen or you know the uh, sometimes it could be a bad bga but it's because of the color joint most of the times and if the bga goes bad then you wouldn't see anything on the screen which i fixed that before also i should have made a video of that anyway so uh there you go so hope the uh this information um helps you and if you want to if you have the same uh, problem like this and want us to fix it for you then you can contact us through the ifixsmartphone.com thanks for watching